Prosecutors will not seek the death penalty for three people accused of murdering Albuquerque school teacher Ellen Roth last spring. The Bernalillo County DA announced that decision today after months of looking at the legal arguments. Here's News 13's Kim Vias. Roth's murder happened before the state's repeal of the death penalty went into effect, but District Attorney Carrie Brandenburg says after much review, they've determined the circumstances do not meet the death penalty requirements. Roth was murdered in May, shortly after she pursued charges against her son Brian for stealing her credit card. Police say Roth's daughter-in-law, Kathleen, was angry about that. And on May 4th, she and friend James Johnson waited in Ellen's garage and strangled her as she prepared to leave for work at Chelwood Elementary School. They say Christopher Donovan, another friend, also played a role in the murder. Roth's body was eventually taken to the Hemis Mountains and buried. District Attorney Carrie Brandenburg has said, had said that because the murder was carried out during a kidnapping and Roth was a witness to the credit card theft, the case might qualify for the death penalty. But she's decided it doesn't. Still, Brandenburg says they have a very strong case. We have first-degree murder, which carries a 30-year mandatory life sentence. So it's not as though these people won't be held accountable um, and that they won't do substantial time um, if they are convicted. All three defendants remain in jail on a million-dollar cash-only bond. Kim Baez, KRQE News 13. A fourth person charged in the case, Bella Gonzalez, is accused of helping to get rid of Ms. Roth's body. She is the only defendant who is free on bond.